Hey gents, today we're going to be talking about extra long ties. This is inspired by a conversation with Chris over at Ordinarily Dapper. Thanks for always checking in on things. He was kind enough at the last Menfluential conference to give me an extra long Rampley and Co tie and just it got me diving down the rabbit hole of extra long ties because me as a tall guy needs those. And so I will talk about just tie length in general, then how it applies to tall guys, which is typically considered like 6'1 and above. And then I want to highlight some brands that you can go to shop for, whether you have the budget equivalent of one Yelp dollar sign or four Yelp dollar signs. Extra long ties really only give you a few more inches over a standard tie, but if you are extremely tall, this is really going to make or break the way a tie can look. I find myself in an interesting spot because even though I am 6'4", most of my height comes from my legs. So my torso is actually you know, the size of somebody who's around six foot. And so I can get away with regular size ties, but extra long ties definitely help to make the difference if I want to go for the Sprezzatura look, which is usually to have the shorter end of the tie be as long or slightly longer than the standard side of the tie. Regardless of how tall you are, you want to make sure the tie is at least going to the waistline, either kissing or slightly below the waistline or belt that you have. You don't want to go too far down down on the fly and you definitely don't want to be up above just a little bit too short in today's era. If you do want to go for that stylish Sprezzatura look, you can definitely make the shorter end slightly longer and it is kind of stylish to have the two ends separated from each other and this especially is where extra long ties will come in handy for us tall guys because you want to make sure you have enough length on the second side. I've definitely had my fair share of ties where they were so short on me that I couldn't get the short end to go through the holder on the back of the tie, especially if you're wearing a thicker tie knot. Most standard ties are between 56 and 58 inches, and for extra long ones that I'll link to below, a lot of these are going to be 62 and above. So some of the companies that I'll talk to here usually have a 62, maybe a 64, some a 67 inch tie in there. And I'll also talk about some of the companies that will do custom lengths and bespoke ties as part of the collection. And then before we do a rundown of the brands and their prices, something that I've really noticed, and I've seen this in my own collection as well, is when you start to build a tie collection, it's, it's almost like a first instinct to just get as many patterns, colors, and styles as you possibly can so that you always have the ability to intermix depending on what you're wearing. What I found after building out a collection in that way, and I've seen this with several of you guys as well, Chris is a great example of that from Ordinarily Dapper. When you go from buying the $20 ties to the 70, 80, $90 plus ties, is you end up just wanting those ties, but you also just want a few of those. So I'd be willing to bet for most guys, and I'd love to hear this from you as well, it's like if you have $150 to buy uh, a tie collection, would you rather have you know eight mediocre quality ties of varying styles, or would you rather have two highly beautiful, well-made wool, silk, some kind of combination in that side? Where I found myself early on was just to have a whole lot of stuff, I think you end up refining and wanting to have just a few really nice things. And that's definitely where I've landed. You know, I'd rather have this one Rampley tie than five of my old ties that I was really just collecting to try and get as many styles as possible, especially in today's age when you don't wear ties every day. If you wear ties every single day, I'm sure it's gonna be a little bit different, but especially for most guys today, if you're only wearing a tie, you know, a couple of times a month. It's just really nice to have that one statement, beautiful piece that can end up working in most scenarios. That red and blue Fort Belvedere tie that I, I end up wearing that all the time because it goes with most of my outfits. And so just my two cents on as you're trying to build a collection and as I show you the prices of some of these ties that are up over $100. So if you are shopping for longer length ties, let's give a rundown of the brands, their prices, and a little bit of stats on each of these companies. I personally own a few of them. I have not had experience with all of these, but I just wanna put that out there in case you are trying to shop and build a collection. And all the links that I'll put below will link directly to the long ties category on all of these companies. So you should be able to just jump right in if you're shopping. So the first we have, The Dark Knot. And this one, I have some of their standard ties, but not their extended extended ones. These prices will go from about $50 and up. They do have some really beautiful silk, wool, grenadine ties, and they do have a 63 inch uh, length on there. Next we have Fort Belvedere. As I sh have shown in this video and I've talked about before, some of the finest designs, materials that I've ever personally experienced. A lot of silk, a lot of wool, a lot of linen. And the two ties in this video are of the extended length of 61 and a half inches. And of course, as mentioned earlier in the video, we have Rampley & Co. 
they have a bespoke option on their site. They don't actually list longer ties. And I'm not sure what the longest tie you could order is. You can just keep adding centimeters in their steps process. But depending on the fabric you choose, how you want it finished, and how many folds you want on there, you're probably looking at about $200 for the tie. And so that is Rampley & Co. We also have bow ties. These are all handmade in Vermont. These are up in the you know $60 plus range. And a lot of their ties too, because they're handmade, you can get them in the width that you want. So they have a standard slim and skinny, but they also have options where you can go into the 62, 64 uh, and the larger lengths. And so bow ties is one of the newer companies in my book. Uh, but I've been really impressed with this tie so far and I love the collection uh, that they offer. We also have ties.com. This one, there's a lot of stuff on clearance on this one. You can get ties for like a few bucks, but you're gonna see these around the $50 price point and they do have a 64 inch length on their ties as well. This next brand is tiecreators.com. These prices will be about $50 and up. They have some polyester, they have some silk, and they have a 62 inch length. Now these are actually only available as a custom option. They don't have just a ready to wear collection, but you can go in and order this longer length tie from there. Next venerable favorite, the tie bar. Their prices are gonna go from $28 and up. They have your whole range of cotton, linen, silk. They have some knits, and these are a 63 inch length. Next we have bows and ties. These ones are gonna go up from $10. They have you know, microfiber, silk, and wool, and these are a 62 inch length. Next up we have Palm Alone. These are gonna be from $15 and up, and they actually have 63, 67, or 70 inch ties. So if you are super tall and you need a 70 inch tie, that is gonna be your place to go. And then we have Paul Frederick. Paul Fredericks will go from $39, most of them are silk, and they are made in Italy. The, the previous ones I've talked about are, are made, uh, either some of them in Sessify, some in China, Vietnam, uh, but the Paul Frederick ones are made in Italy if that is important to you, and they have a 62 to 63 inch tie. The next brand is Double Two. These are gonna go up from $21. They have your standard wool, they have some polyester and bamboo, and they have a 67 inch tie length. Next we have Absolute Ties. These are $12.99 and up. These are 62 inches, and they'll have your standard silk and polyester. Tie Mart has you set at the $10 price and up. They'll have some cotton, linen, silk, polyester, and wool and they have a 63 or 67 inch length available. They also have a bespoke option if you're looking for something in between or something even longer. And then we have the Silk Tie Factory. These will go from $19 and up, mostly silk, and they have a 64 inch length available. The last one is the Naughty Tie. These ties are actually made uh, from a polyester that is of recycled plastic water bottles. These are gonna go for 40 and up. They are made in Denver. They have two extra long lengths at 62 and 66 inches, and they do have a bespoke option available as well. So that is the Naughty Tie. So there you have it, gents, some extra long ties if that is what you are searching for. If there's any companies I missed, go ahead and drop those below. I will update a blog post that will coincide with this video over on my site. And all of the links down below will also have links directly to the collections for the extra long ones. So I hope that helps you guys. And as always, you guys have the best recommendations for topics, brands, and everything else. Always appreciate that stuff. I'll see you down in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there. And until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.